It was 14-0. Brad Otten to Rodney Sermon's 10-yard strike. That put him back up by a touchdown, 35-28. Arizona State's turn. Third and two at the seven. Jake Plummer to Poole for the touchdown. Ties the game at 35. So we go to a second overtime period. Arizona State has the first chance. And on the first play, Terry Battle. His fourth touchdown, 42-35. USC must score a touchdown to send this thing to a third overtime. On the third down play, Ott pressured, flings the ball, kind of a shovel pass. The officials, their second blown call of the day, call that a fumble somehow. Makeup. Important to some people. Makeup call. <laughs> but Arizona State wins it by 13 points in double overtime. Ott didn't like it. If that had been ruled an incomplete pass, it would have had one more chance on fourth down to get the first down and stay alive. But Arizona State converts four more. Now fan, Air Force and Notre Dame, Alan Rossum in a scoreless game, gathers in the punt, bobbles it, finds the seam, and then finds the sideline. Notre Dame up 7-0 very early. But Air Force, despite giving up that touchdown, battles right back. A 7-3 Irish lead. Bo Morgan, Morgan takes it himself. Morgan, little shoulder fake, gets outside. Gets down close. Two plays later, second and goal. Morgan, again, touchdown. Air Force up 10-7. This game would go to overtime, tied at 17. Very first play for the Irish. Paulus coughs it up. So, Air Force takes over. Drive close. And Dallas Thompson, the barefoot kicker, buries it. And Notre Dame is shot. 20-17. to Air Force outrushing the Irish. 304 to 67. Lowest rush. Camp Randall, scoreless game in the first quarter. The snap soars over Paul Burton's head. He can't gather it in to kick it. Plays it like a hand grenade. Wisconsin covers it 7-0 later in the first quarter. Darnell Autry is hit hard on the shoulder. He would not play in the second half. His 100-yard streak stopped at 19. But it doesn't matter. Darnell Autry, Adrian Autry, Gene Autry. Just get behind that Northwestern offensive line. You can get in the end zone. The two-point conversion failed 20-16. Wisconsin gives the ball to Big Ron Dane behind that big offensive line. Back on top, 23-20. Brian Goins with a minute 38 to go from 55 yards is wide left. So Wisconsin takes over. Should be easy, right? Just run out the clock. No, they hand the ball off for some reason, and Ron Dane coughs it up. The freshman with the mistake, but the coaching staff with the real mistake. Northwestern football down by three. They put some extra time back on the clock. Schnur, pumping, face wide open. 20-yard touchdown pass. Northwestern comes from 10 down to shock Alvarez's team and win a 12th consecutive Big Ten game. Bates caught 10 passes for 131 yards and ends up seven zip. They have to punt. Tim Dwight takes it at his own 18, uses the blocks, gets outside. Look at the speed. 82-yard punt return ties the game at seven. The Lions will try to come back. Wally Richardson had a tough time with the rain and the Iowa defense. Down 14-10 of the second quarter. He just hands the ball off to Aaron Harris, the fullback. Drops the ball, picks it up on the hop, and weaves down the sideline. 49 yards, and the Lions are back up on top by three points. Looks like they might get the breaks in this ballgame. Iowa down by six, though, in the fourth quarter. Sherman, the halfback option pass, dying to Demo Odoms all the way to the eight. Then Tavian Banks knifing right through the Penn State defense. And Hayden's prize team goes into Happy Valley, stays unbeaten in the Big Ten. They are 3-0. Banks 100. Danny Werfel, look at Riddell Anthony. Once again, for a seventh consecutive time, the Gators score on their opening possession, all touchdowns. Third quarter, it's a 14-point Gator lead. Still throw Riddell Anthony. Great job getting the feet down. It's 30 to 10. And they're not done yet. Gators go to the ground. Elijah Williams busts it 14 yards to the house. It's 37-10. This Florida team is scary on both sides of the football. Werfel still not done. Ike Hilliard in the end zone. 18-yard touchdown. 44-10. The Gators still not done. Terry Jackson. The fake reverse, a little trickeration there. And off. He's blown out. 51 to 10. The Gators 107 points now in the last two weeks against LSU and all both teams. Byron Hansbard though hit. Grant Wistrom knocks the ball loose. Terrell Farley on the very first play from the scrimmage for Tech puts the Red Raiders down 7-0. Later first quarter, Scott Frost 
what? Picked off by Rob Johnson, who runs it in, ties the game at seven. It's tied at 10 in the third quarter. Second and goal on the three, Frost. Rolls to his right, doing what he does best, jumping to the back of a blocker in the end zone. And Nebraska, it wasn't easy. Texas Tech will have to be satisfied with a moral victory. They played Nebraska tough. Hands part 107 yards, but a pair of fumbles, and both of them led to Nebraska touchdowns. Alabama and Ole Miss. Three zip. Coach Stallings' team, Freddie Kitchens. Hadn't played that well this season, but the bullet over the middle, Michael Vaughn, 10 yard strike, 10 zip, Bama. The defense, as always, solid. Michael Myers haunting the old Miss offensive line. Once again, untouched for the sack. 158 yards total offense for Ole Miss. Kitchens back again to Vaughn. Uses the nice pick from the official. 60 yards for the touchdown, and Alabama tunes up for Tennessee by blowing out. Ole Miss. So in the weeks before the big Tennessee game and the weeks before the big Auburn game, Alabama has never been caught looking at connection here with Desmond Dennis, the backup tight end who must come up big with Matt Lepsis out for the season. His first touchdown of the year. End of the first quarter, Isaac Bird. After Colorado committed a penalty, had to punt the ball again. The big punt return puts Kansas in shape. But on third and goal, June Hanley running like June Cleaver. Coughs up the ball at the one-yard line. Kansas couldn't convert on three possessions that started in plus territory in the first half. So Detmer goes back to work. Brilliant crossing route to Ray Carruth. 17-0 Colorado. Matt Johnner drops back in the fourth quarter. Steve Rosga the tip. Dalton Simmons the interception. And Colorado's defense really plays a strong ball game. They hold Kansas to 190 total yards. Win the ball game 20 to seven. Their ninth straight road win, as Mr. Corso called. That is a school record. Detmer 244 yards in the win, but he did have three interceptions to go along with the two touchdowns. Wyoming trying to stay unbeaten, hosting Fresno State. Jim Erleonis to Anthony Tucker, 45 yard strike. Fresno State though still had a 14-7 lead. Tied at 14, Wyoming responds. Josh Woolworth to Len Sexton, splitting defenders, 21-14. Sexton's third touchdown of the game. In the first, John Reeves drops back, looking long. He's got Isaac Jones, and he's got a gun right on target, 55 yards, 14-0 Purdue. Ohio State stayed calm, came back to 14-7. Then Pepe Pearson breaks outside, cuts inside. He will go 26 yards into the end zone for the score. Suddenly, Ohio State has a tie at 14 all. They were up 21-14 in the third. Stanley Jackson to Matt Keller, third and 17. Not even likely to get a first down on the screen. Forget the first down, they have a touchdown. Great run by Keller, and the silver of Ohio State is sterling today. 42-14, your final. Two weeks in a row, the Buckeyes come from Indiana. 7-0 Wolverines in the first. Scott drives back, drops back through the receiver's hands. Eric Allen, nothing in front of him but green and glory, takes it in 42 yards. Indiana led it 17-10 at halftime. There's the score when Michigan tries the end around Charles Woodson. Watch him break these tackles. Fantastic run, and it won't end till he's in the end zone. 48 yards, ties the game at 17. Now Hoosiers took the lead, 20-17. to Dreisbach, though, drops back. Jeremy Tooman behind the D. Nice touch pass into his arms. Wolverines up 24-20 there. And they hang on to beat a very game Indiana team, 27-20. Hebrews Miami hosting East Carolina. First drive of the night for Miami. Ryan Clement to Jermaine Chambers. 34 yards out. The route is on in the Orange Bowl. Or is it second half? The Canes were down 17-6. Clement out of the game injured. Scott Covington picked off there. That led to an ECU touchdown. Fourth quarter. Covington drilled. Darren Hart, Lorenzo West recovers, and then in the fourth, stripped again are the Hurricanes. Then, Darrell McMillan stripped. ECU recovers this one as well. Four consecutive turnovers from Miami, and they are dead and buried. Look at this route. It's 1950. Ryan Longwell's punt is blocked by Ray Jackson, who recovers it. And in the end zone, it's recovered by actually D. Morn Cola, 7 0 Washington State. Same score, Ryan leaves hands off to Michael Black, who gets outside, 46 yard gain. Black with 214 yards rushing. Second quarter, still 7 0. Ryan Black throws it up, and Chad Carpenter comes down with the 11 yard touchdown. 
Now, 21-16 Washington State. One last chance for Cal. 125 remaining. Pat Barnes floats one to Niall Benjamin, who gets knocked out at the one-yard line. Somebody's furious. Next play. Pat Barnes fumbles the handoff to Willis. The Cougars recover. The Golden Bears no longer undefeated. 21-18 is the final. Cal remains winless at Washington State since 1979. The Golden Bears denied of their first 6-0 start, as I mentioned, since 1950. Michael Black, outstanding day. As we look at the... Not a very pleasant homecoming guest. BYU up 20-3, and he finds K.O. Kevalui, and K.O. is okay. Cougars lead 27-3. But then Steve serves up a homecoming gift. Picked off by Terrence Joseph and nothing but AstroTurf. An opportunity in front of him. Gets a block on Sarkeesian who just got steamrolled. Is down 27-20 at that point. Sarkeesian comes right back. Finding James Dye 38 yards over the middle. And gave BYU a 41-30 lead. They would go on to win it 55-30. Sarkeesian 21 of 32. 329 yards and five touchdowns. The Cougars overcame 127 yards. Probably lining up his resume. This, however, will not be on his resume tape. Kevin Ball just explodes. 138 yards for him, 23 yards score there. 7 0 Bayou Bengals. 27 7 in the third. Rondell Mealy. Hey, this guy's second team. Look at him run through these tackles like they're not even there. He'll bounce into the end zone 22 yards down. LSU wins it 41 to 14. Falk, 265 all. Clemson, fourth quarter, Tigers down, fourth and goal. Dylan Green keeps it on the QB sneak. The rest take their time and take, take another. Yeah, okay, there we go. Throw their hands up, 28-25, Clemson. Jackets, one shot to tie. Field goal. 52 yards, oh no, it left no good. The Tigers pull. TCU at number 24, Utah, tied at seven. Chris Formata, Ma'afala, look at the big fella, Ma'afala, 70 yards, he'll take it to the house, and I'll wager at some point when he gets to the house, he's headed to the fridge. Ouch. 14-7 you. Hey, we only kid him because we love to watch him rumble. Look at this big fella, Ma'afala again, 52 yards, Utah wins it, 21. South Carolina, Arkansas's Pete Burks looking and Terry Cousin. You can kiss in that cousin goodbye. 51 yards, 7 0 Gamecocks. Second quarter, Carolina now down 10 7. Anthony Wright, the fine Carolina quarterback, rolling to his left. A dart to Zola Davis. Carolina goes on to win it 23 17. San Jose State, Colorado State, the first play from scrimmage. The Rams' Moses Marino looking for it all. He'll get it all. Jeremy Calhoun, 60 yards, 359 yards passing. Rams 36-13. Iowa State, Oklahoma State, Troy Davis. Troy did this little, oh my. Lost undergarments may be picked up off the stadium turf following the game. 50 yards for Davis, 238 on the day. Iowa State up by six, but with five minutes to go, Andre Richardson gives up the football near the goal line, but keep your eye on Andre. Never quits, never gives up, comes out of the pile with it. Touchdown, 28-27. Oklahoma State beats Iowa State. With a 26-12 win over Stanford. And recovers ensuing drive, first and 10 on the 15. Brandon Stewart, 15-yard pass to Albert Connell. Texas A&M trails by three for the scoring. Later in the fourth, Texas A&M driving on the 45. Stewart finds Cannell again. Connell again. Chris Canty forces a fumble. Stops Texas A&M's rally. Stewart leaves the field dejected. Kansas State wins the ball game despite a late.